Snakes are one of the most abundant, most successful species on Earth. Evolving without limbs, it seems like Mother Nature gave them the short end of the stick, and yet they do continue to thrive and survive. However, some are a bit more rare than others. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of those rare snakes in the world. Stay tuned for number one because it's so rare that this might be the only time that you can actually see it. I mean, unless you look it up on Google or something. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Wagner's Viper This mountain dweller occupies dry, warm slopes where temperature falls at night. It's usually only active during the day, and its pattern of orange-brownish spots help the snake blend in with its surroundings. This rare snake was thought to be extinct for nearly 140 years, but then was rediscovered in eastern Turkey in 1983. Once the word got out, the news led to severe overcollecting by European and Turkish snake collectors. This is actually a serious threat for the future survival of the species. That's even worse when you realize it's already been wiped out in much of its very small range. It is in fact estimated that there are fewer than 2,500 adults left in the wild. Its name is derived from Moritz Wagner, a German explorer who collected the first documented specimen in 1846. Due to the threat of extinction to these snakes, the St. Louis Zoo incorporated them into their breeding program, with nine babies being born at the zoo in August of 2013. Unfortunately, though, there have been no updates from the zoo about new babies being born since then, making the Wagner's Viper one of the rarest snakes in the world. Number 9. The Antiguan Racer The Antiguan Racer is a brown, non-venomous snake and is docile and very easy to handle. Its diet consists almost exclusively of lizards that live on the small offshore islands. Formerly the world's rarest snake, the Antiguan Racer's miraculous comeback is mainly due to concerted conservation efforts. But although their numbers have increased, it is still not enough to remove them from the endangered species list. The Antiguan Racer is located on a few small islands just off the Caribbean island nation of Antigua and Barbuda. It was previously living on the main island of Antigua, but was wiped out after the introduction of the mongoose and black rat. However, a small population of racers managed to survive on Great Bird Island, a low-lying islet located just a couple miles off the shore of Antigua. This species was believed to be extinct until it was discovered in the early 1990s. After the successful eradication of predatory rats from the island, the population has since increased to over 900 individuals. And this means that the snakes could be reintroduced to nearby islands. Number 8. The Short-Nosed Sea Snake the Sahul Reef Snake, or otherwise known as the Short-Nosed Sea Snake, is a critically endangered sea snake whose habitat is mostly contained in a small area off the coast of northwestern Australia. This snake derives its name from the fact that it has a small head and a short pointed snout. It prefers sandy areas with sparse coral and can live up to 10 years in the wild. It has so far only been found within the area of two reefs, Ashmore and Hibernia. The reason why these snakes' numbers declined is a complete mystery. In fact, they were relatively abundant up until the 1990s. Unexplainably, its numbers have dwindled in the years following, so much so that no individuals have been recorded in surveys since 2000. While the reason for this snake's disappearance within its habitat are unknown, it has been hypothesized that several coral bleaching and degradation may be a major culprit. Number 7. The Alcatraz's Lancehead the Alcatraz's lancehead belongs to the pit viper family, which are distinguishable from other snakes by a heat-sensing organ in its head which it uses to locate its prey. And, like all other pit vipers, it's extremely poisonous. The exact numbers of surviving Alcatraz's lancehead is unknown, although it has been noted that they are fairly common on the small island that they live on. This snake, whose scientific name is Bothrop's Alcatraz, is a critically endangered viper that lives on a small island off the southeastern coast of Brazil. This snake derives its name from the island that it lives on, Ilha de Alcatrazes, a tiny rock of only 1.35 square kilometers that forms part of the Alcatrazes archipelago. While most of the snakes on this list have obvious reasons for their decline, such as habitat loss or the pet trade, this snake faces a unique threat to its continued survival. This island is frequently used as a naval target area, endangering the lives and habitats of these rare snakes. Number 6. Derevsky's Viper Vipera Derevsky is a venomous viper which can only be found in northwestern Armenia and northeastern Turkey. The viper is named after Ila Derevsky, who was one of the first to find and identify the species. Derevsky's viper lives primarily at high altitudes on mountain ridges and spends parts of its day basking in the sun in order to acquire enough heat to operate during the day. These snakes display sexual dimorphism, meaning that the females are significantly larger than the males. 
The story of the decline of this snake is a classic case of human encroachment. Due to the destruction of its natural habitat from overgrazing by domestic animals, the number of Doreski's vipers are on the decline. At last count, there were only about 500 individuals left in the wild, placing this snake on the brink of extinction. On top of that, its range is severely fragmented, with small pockets of snakes spread over a wide area. And although this viper's diet consists mainly of lizards, rodents, and the occasional insect, the fear of its venomous bite have driven locals to shoot and eradicate them on sight. Number 5. The Aruba Island Rattlesnake The Aruba Island Rattlesnake is a critically endangered rattlesnake that is endemic to the Caribbean island of Aruba, located just off the coast of Venezuela. The snakes usually have a uniform gray or light brown body color, although they sometimes have diamond-shaped markings on their backs as well. The snake is nocturnal during the hot summer months, but will venture out during the cooler early morning and late afternoon periods. The rattlesnake is viviparous, which means that it gives birth to live young rather than laying eggs. It has an estimated lifespan of up to 20 years, and its diet is made up of mainly rodents, birds, and lizards. Once abundant in its native habitat, it is estimated that there are only 230 surviving adults in the wild, with about 100 more adults in captivity. This snake is unfortunately threatened by encroaching human development. It only has about 25 square kilometers of undeveloped habitat in which it survives. The introduction of goats has also had a negative impact on the vegetation of the island, reducing the snake's habitat even further. This should serve as a warning to people who still insist on bringing in non-native species into an ecosystem. Number 4. The Santa Catalina Island Rattlesnake The Santa Catalina Island Rattlesnake is a small, slender pit viper found only on the island of Santa Catalina in the Gulf of California. This rattlesnake is unique because of its lack of a functioning rattle, which makes it one of the most ironically named animals in the world. It is believed that this rattlesnake lost its rattle in an attempt to better adapt to its environment, allowing it to silently sneak up on birds in desert brush. Their population is facing severe challenges due to the presence of feral cats which prey on the snakes. This is yet another example of introduced species going wild. Additionally, these relatively passive snakes have been the targets of indiscriminate killings, and to make matters worse, a lot of snake collectors pull all the stops just to add them to their illegal collections. Also, with the decline of their main prey, the deer mouse, it is feared that populations of this rare snake may decline even further. However, it is hoped that a recently introduced program to reduce the number of feral cats on the island will go a long way toward the preservation of these snakes. Number 3. Orlov's Viper Vipera orlovi is native to the Black Sea region of Russia, where it is endemic to the Caucasus region. It was only in 2001 that Orlov's viper was separated as a distinct species from the closely related Caucasian viper. This snake has a triangular head and long, venomous fangs which are folded against the roof of the mouth when not in use. Although the colors and patterns of the vipers can change from specimen to specimen, they are usually brown, gray, or yellow-gray with brown or black zigzag bands. Orlov's vipers have been shown to eat a wide range of food, such as mice, lizard, frogs, and insects. Just a couple of decades ago, these snakes were widespread in their native land. But today, it's estimated that there are less than 250 adults in the wild. And again, like with most entries in our list, they are victims of human encroachment. With less than 100 square kilometers of natural habitat remaining, the Orlov's viper is now listed as critically endangered. The exotic pet trade is also to blame. The Orlov's viper suffers from widespread poaching due to its popularity as a pet. Now it's time for the day's best pick. And today we're going to be looking at another subscriber submission, and the photo shows a couple of snakes that admittedly I haven't actually seen before. So is one or both of these the rarest snakes on Earth? Well, let's find out now. Number 2. To start things off, both snakes on the photo are 100% real. Although admittedly the one on the left looks too comical to be true, but trust me, that snake is very real. It is actually called the Paradise Flying Snake, a species of snake that can be found in Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, part of the Philippines, Singapore, and southern Thailand. The name is a misnomer. These snakes don't actually fly, but what they can do is a no less amazing feat for a creature with no limbs. These snakes can climb trees, then fling themselves off. They flatten their bodies to effectively act as wings, then glide on over to the next tree. Amazing, yes, but endangered, not quite. These guys are still pretty easy to spot in their native habitat, and with any hope, they won't be endangered anytime soon. 
However, let's move on to the punk rocker of the group, the snake that has spikes all over its body. This, my friends, is the African Hairy Bush Viper, sometimes also called the Spiny Bush Viper for obvious reasons. They are only found in Central Africa's rainforest where there is a vast amount of flowering bushes. They are often hard to find in the wild as they inhabit places that are far from human interaction. While they are not critically endangered due to the small size of their habitat, it's not impossible for them to go the route all snakes on our list do as well. People must definitely do something to change that, protect these and all magnificent creatures. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The St. Lucia Racer Snake Holding the unfortunate title of the rarest snake in the world, the St. Lucia Racer is located on a tiny island just off the coast of St. Lucia, a tropical Caribbean island. While these snakes once existed on St. Lucia, they were eradicated when invasive predators such as the mongoose and black rat were introduced to the island. These new predators sadly killed these small snakes and poached on their eggs. They were actually declared to be extinct in 1936, but were rediscovered on Maria Major in 1973, where the snakes managed to survive due to the lack of mongooses. This non-venomous snake reaches a maximum length of just under one meter, and is usually light brown in complexion with a distinctive brown stripe running from the neck down to the tail. With a recent survey indicating that as few as 18 of these snakes exist on the island, the St. Lucian Racer is one of the rarest animals in the world. Currently, major conservation efforts are underway to protect these snakes before they become extinct. Did we leave anything out? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about rare animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.